Hello everyone, my name is Darius Merck and I work for Flybotics and today I'm going to present to you the ASIO drone. The ASIO drone is an indoor inspection drone. Now, off the bat there are two things that you might notice immediately. The first thing is the cage. So the drone is mounted into a cage and this allows us to protect it from colliding into obstacles. The second more important feature is that most quadcopters actually have four propellers. We only have two propellers here. We have a top propeller and a bottom propeller. Now, these two propellers work together to allow the pilot to control the drone in a pitch motion, forward, backwards, left, right, in a roll motion, and turn around its axis. Now, this is actually achieved through a patented system that we have that is electromagnetic and makes it really lightweight. So, the lightweightness of this system, together with the large size of the propellers, and the lightweightness of this whole frame actually allows us to fly for very long times. What we can achieve with this drone are flight times of up to 24 minutes. Now, what this means is that the pilot, first off, has more time for the inspections and thus less stress. And for the asset owner, it implies shorter shutdown times. Now, these shorter shutdown times are actually achieved by the fact that the drone can stay in the air longer and requires less time to go back to the pilot, change the battery, fly back out, fly back in, etc. Now, this implies that we need lighting and a camera for these inspection. This is exactly why Azure is equipped with lights on the side that will give it up to seven to 8,000 lumens of light and a camera here. This camera is mounted on a gimbal, which allows it to move completely upwards, completely downwards, seeing up to 180 degrees of field of view. Next to this camera, that is a 4K camera that can also take pictures at 12 megapixels, we have a small infrared camera that is radiometric, giving us temperature data on the assets we are inspecting. While most traditional drones can rely on GPS signal to stabilize them outdoors, this drone is used in confined spaces, and these confined spaces often are referred to as GPS denied environments. Now, what is the solution to stabilizing a drone in these environments where no GPS can be used? Well, we have developed an algorithm that allows us to stabilize the drone in these environments by using only very small and lightweight sensors mounted all around the drone. This does not require any heavy machinery such as LIDARs or other sensors. Simply, we use the displacement of the image to stabilize the drone. This drone can be flown in different ways. First, there is a manual mode where the drone is actually not helping the pilot at all and the pilot is in full control of the motions of the drone. Then there are assistances such as visual lock the way this works is that it relies on the sensors all around the drone to sense drift and to compensate for it. Now these sensors are not only used for this stabilization, but they can also be used for algorithms such as wall lock, which allows the pilot to lock onto a wall at a given distance and a given angle. Now the advantage of this is that the pilot then no longer needs to worry about controlling pitch or yaw, but only needs to control the left right motion and the up down motion scanning walls really easily and this can actually also be used in tanks where the curvature is not too small and the drone can follow the curvature of the tank leading to very easy inspections then if we look at the back we have one top facing sensor and one bottom facing sensors these two sensors can be used to lock the height either to the roof or to the ground and this again makes the task easier for the pilot because the pilot does not need to worry about throttle input and instead can only focus on flying in the plane. Finally, we can also use all these sensors together for repulsion. Although this drone is protected by a cage and it should protect the inside of the drone from collision, we have this extra bit of assistance that moves the drone away from obstacles when they are detected. Let's say, for instance, there was a wall on this side and the pilot is flying and gets a little too close to the wall without noticing, then the drone will simply correct by moving away from the wall. Now, enough talking about this drone. Let's go see what it can do and fly it. 